people are talking about whether or not President Donald Trump should face some consequences for inciting an insurrection that resulted has resulted thus far in the deaths of five people, injury to a number of other people, siege, the sieging of the U.S. Capitol, and the temporary suspension of the activities on January 6th that were to, that resulted in the confirmation of the Electoral College vote regarding the 2020 presidential election. Folks are talking about whether or not Trump should be declared disabled under the 25th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, although President Trump will not agree he's disabled, and reports are that Vice President Pence is unwilling to go along with that approach. And people are talking about whether or not Trump should be censured, should the Congress should have a censure, uh, such as was done to Senator Joseph McCarthy. And then there is a suggestion of impeachment. Quite frankly, inciting an insurrection against the Congress is what one would call a high crime or misdemeanor for purpose of impeachment. Furthermore, there is a U.S. statute that also adds weight to the call for impeachment. I'm referring to what's called the Ku Klux Klan Act. It's only been on the book since 1871. It's 42 U.S. Code, Section 1985. Listen to these words from Section 1. Quote, If two or more persons in any state or territory conspire to prevent, by force, intimidation, or threat, any person from holding any office, trust, or place of confidence under the United States, or from discharging any duties thereof, or to molest, interrupt, hinder, or impede him in the discharge of his official duties. That's section one of the statute. Sound like we got something there? How about this language from section three? If two or more persons in any state or territory conspire to prevent by force, intimidation, or threat any citizen who is lawfully entitled to vote from giving his support or advocacy in a legal manner toward or in favor of the election of any elector for president or vice president or as a member of Congress of the United States, the party so injured or deprived may have an action for the recovery of damages occasioned by such injury or deprivation against any one or more of the, co the conspirators. Close quote. Respectfully, folks, Every member of the United States Congress and the United States Senate could be a plaintiff in that lawsuit. Moreover, a lawsuit could be filed on behalf of the people of the United States, a class action lawsuit on behalf of the people of the United States, because they were the real parties represented by the members of Congress who were besieged on January 6, 2000. Yes, impeachment, impeachment is the right course of action. Impeachable offenses deserve impeachment. And the fact that Donald Trump only has 12 days left in office does not make him unworthy or unsuitable for impeachment. 
any more than it would be if he were his, in his first days of office. The fact of the matter is, Donald Trump has engaged in impeachable conduct. The world knows it. Congress knows it. The Congress should consider articles of impeachment, should vote to approve the articles of impeachment, and Donald Trump should then face trial, yes, within the United States Senate, and be convicted and removed from office. If the Senate lacks the fortitude to remove a president who incites insurrection against the government of the United States, then the Senate lacks the fortitude to obey its own obligations on the U.S. Constitution. That's what we should do. That's what the Senate and the Congress should do. That's what we should demand be done. 